Hey gents, suit separates are not new, but they may be the future of suiting as we know it. A way to present yourself as a well-dressed man without the formality of a full suit. A closet with three or four strategically chosen suits can easily create nine unique looks. Today I'll show you a few of my favorites, talk about how to consider your suit separates, and some recommendations on where to start. Each suit that you will see in this video is by Oliver Wicks, and a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and helping me pursue video ideas like this one. Let's dive in. When it comes to suit separates, gray is your best friend. Your first suit should either be charcoal gray or navy. Once you have those two suits, 95% of your suiting needs will be covered. Let's talk about your base. Gray trousers can be the base for many suit colors. Jackets in navy, burgundy, brown, and even dark green. A pair of light gray flannel trousers for the fall, lightweight 110s wool for year round, or even linen for the summer. That would make your next base navy. This is what I'd consider a level 2 pairing since I find a lighter color on the bottom is an easy first step. But that initial navy suit can serve as a base for grays, browns, creams, and more. Plus the navy jacket on top of your charcoal suit looks good as well. Especially when it comes to fall winter, brown is your next versatile base. Here I have it in a flannel window pane, but you can add any dark worsted wool jacket on top. Once you're comfortable mixing colors, you can start to do lighter jackets on top or this combination, but experiment in a store to make sure your complexion can handle it. A lot of this depends on your hair and skin tone composition. I can get away with more high contrast outfits due to my dark hair and light skin tones, but this is an important topic for another day. Level three is when you start to mix and match your materials. Pairing worsted wool and flannel is easy. Heavyweight flannel on top and lighter wool on the bottom, that's a killer look. But since flannel is a cooler weather material and linen is for those warmer summer days, the mix of weights can be a tough pairing. I did it here when I was in Morocco in the winter. It was a very specific seasonal combination and geographical circumstance, and I'm still not totally sold on it, but you can let me know what you think. Linen and wool can be pretty easy as long as the weights are close. You don't want a heavyweight wool on the bottom with a lightweight linen jacket or you'll be too visually mixed. So while considering your colors, you also want to consider a material. If you're ready to start building suit separates, having standard wool suits in navy and charcoal is your best starting point. Next, I would add a pair of light gray flannel trousers. The extent that you can pair light gray trousers with blazers is second to none, and they look great on their own as like standard business casual office wear. Then you would step into finer materials like this wool and mohair blazer from Batal Babri Kananiko. With a standout statement blazer like this, you'll want to keep the rest of your outfit pretty basic. But once you get into mohair, hop sack, bamboo, and other unique materials for blazers, your world will truly open up. So there you have it, gents. Some of my thoughts on suit separates. I'll put links in the description to some blogs with some really nice pairings and great photography. And I want to hear what you think about these pairings or what I might have missed. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.